hello everyone welcome back to our channel so our lesson is all about module 4 of the part 3 for sign 7 it's actually all about sound so in this video you are going to describe the characteristic of sound using the concept of wavelength velocity and amplitude so basically the topic is all about the characteristics of sound Let's start with the what I know portion. For number one, what do we call the vibration that propagates as an acoustic wave through a transmission medium such as gas, liquid, or solid? Sound. Sound plays a vital role in our daily living. Communication is one among of its uses. Can we also use sound in emergency response? Yes, because a loud sound can be the fastest way to inform the community that a disaster might come. Which of the following gives the correct order of speed of sound from slowest to fastest in the given material? Air, water, steel. Which of the following is not capable of transporting sound? Vacuum. Which of the following describes sound wave? Longitudinal wave. Which of the following is not a characteristic of sound? Zone. In what material does sound travel the fastest? Solid. For numbers 8 to 10, solid liquids and gases are different ter in terms of its molecules. These molecules are important in production and transmission of sounds effectively. So take a look at the figure. Which of the following statements best describes the relationship between a sound and medium? Sound is affected by different molecules of each given material, thus it makes these travels fast and slow. What makes sounds or what makes sounds travel faster in solid than in gas? It's the arrangement of molecules. Which of the following is incorrectly matched in terms of the arrangement of molecules? Liquid very far. Which of the following statements are true on solid materials? It should be 1, 2, 3. 12. Read the statements carefully which of the following best describes the two statements given. So both statements 1 and 2 are true. Read the statements carefully which of the following best describes the two statements given. So both statements 1 and 2 are true. Which of the following statements are true about the speed of sound? So 1, 2, and 3 statements. Which or each object can produce a unique sound? Are all objects able to produce sound without producing any vibrations? No, because to produce sound, it requires vibrations. Now let's go to our topic right away. It's the characteristics of sounds. Before we proceed, find the three words that will describe characteristics of sound using the word bank below. So basically, we highlighted already amplitude, velocity, and wavelength. So there are the words that are used to describe the characteristics of sound. So we have a poem here and the answers. Do sounds vary in speed? Yes, vary, it varies in different speed but depends on the medium it travels. How does the poem define amplitude? So it de define amplitude as a sound of crowd. How does the poem define wavelength? So by distance. How does sound produce through vibrations? So, basically, sound waves are longitudinal waves. So, remember in our previous lesson, mechanical waves and electromagnetic waves are the two major classifications of waves. For mechanical waves, it needs a medium for it to propagate. So, under mechanical waves, we have transverse waves, uh, longitudinal waves and surface waves so under longitudinal waves we have a very specific example which is the sound waves so how can you identify or differentiate um, how sound waves travel in different mediums such as solid liquid and gas so try to do the setup one setup two setup three for setup one you're going to use the uh, table touch your ear then ask one of your friend there to tap it gently tap the table gently 
and this time without touching the table then tap gently again for setup two you're going to use the pail full of water first you're going to again ask your friend to tap the water with your ear listening to it then next is not touching the water for setup three it's the this time there's a distance away from both your friend and yourself then tap the can to listen ah uh, yeah you're going to hold a can by the way then tap it then this time without touching the can you're going to listen so basically based on the different setups so we have this arrangement of molecules for solid liquid and gas so basically these are the speed of sound in different media for the hardwood it's 4000 meters per second for the air it's only 331 meters per second so you can imagine that um sound travels fastest in hardwood than in aluminum no 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 um speed i mean sound travels fastest in iron and steel than in hardwood okay compared to the seawater and the water sound travels fastest in seawater than in water so just refer to this table for the speed of sounds using the different medium so basically our topic oh uh, yeah we're going to describe the characteristics of wave but before that we can also identify or the speed of sound is also dependent on the factors such as atmospheric pressure relative humidity and atmospheric temperature example of that is during hot day the sun travels faster why because there is more molecular interaction that takes place in hot air just imagine yourself in a very hot place so what are you going to do you cannot hindi ka makastay put palagi ka na lang naghahanap ng lugar kung saan magkukul down kayo so that also happens to the the molecules so they travels faster so that is why speeds uh sound travels faster in the hot place or hot surrounding so sound also travels faster in a less dense substance then sound waves travel slower in humid air during cloudy day than in dry air during sunny day so we have here the frequency wavelength amplitude speed or velocity period and phase which are the characteristics of wave so Pitch refers to highness and lowness of sound. Loudness is how soft or how intense the sound is as perceived by the air interpreted by the brain. So it's the difference between the two. So let's identify the pitch and loudness. How? Try this. So first you get two different metal spoons with different sizes. Drop it to the ground one after the other. Listen to the sound produced. So you'll have what? High pitch get two different metal plates with different sizes drop it to the ground one after the other listen to the sound produced different sizes again so they have different pitches and loudness so the thin metal spoon or plate has a higher pitch while a bigger metal spoon or plate has a low is louder than the other so we can picture out the lower pitch having this so basically kapag okay so in the first figure what happened here is it uh the wave has a slow vibration so basically ang kanyang period is longer so kapag longer ang period the pitch is uh lower kapag naman shorter ang kanyang period you have higher pitch kasi Marami ang kanyang vibration. Or it has a fast vibration, I mean. Okay, so loudness is the measure of response of a sound by human ear. So, refer to the 
figure 4. So if you have a high amplitude sound, usually this carries large energy and have higher intensity. While having a low amplitude sound, it carries a lesser amount of energy and have lower intensity. And always take note that sounds at uh, or below 70 uh, decibel, they are considered safe, while any sound at above 85 decibel will more likely to damage our hearing over time. So for figure 5, we have the anatomy of the ear. So basically, at the end of the ear canal is, uh, let's start with the pina. So the sounds are collected by the outer ear called pina and focus them into the ear canal. This is the ear canal. Okay, focus them into the ear canal. This kind of transmit the sound waves to the eardrum. So this is the eardrum. At the end of the ear canal, it's the eardrum, yes, this is it. That separates the outer and the middle ear physically. So this is the outer and the middle ear. And air vibrations set that eardrum membrane, which is the tympanum in motion that causes the smallest bones to move the hammer. Where's the hammer? The malleus, hammer or the malleus, the anvil or the incus, and the stirrup or the stapes. So these three bones convert the small amplitude vibrations into large amplitude oscillations. So these oscillations are transferred to the inner ear through the oval window. The large amplitude oscillations create waves to travel in liquid Cochlea are converted into electrical impulses which are sent to the brain by auditory nerve. The brain interprets these signals as words, music, or noise. So loud noise can damage cells and membranes in the cochlea inside our ears. Exposure to loud sounds for a long period of time may cause damage and overwork hair cells in our ears which can make cells die. So the table shows the sound level from different sound sources. Just go over. And let's do, let's answer the questions. I-post nyo lang video kapag gusto nyo i-focus ang answers. So, between the two, helium has a greater speed of sound. It can transmit greater or faster speed compared to air. Then, water, are still hardwood. Okay. Sea water, aluminum compared to iron steel then hardwood compared to air okay jet engine has the loud sound greater sound amplified rock music then jet engine then we have the library has a greater sound compared to the normal breath so slowest air then the fastest is the hardwood is it based on the table this is based on the table but if you're going to analyze the table something is wrong because hardware is just four thousand anyway let's just double check on it uh, regarding their uh, speed okay baka we need to i uh, know transfer this hardwood here then this aluminum here then iron steel For test B, we have the lowest and the highest sound. Then for the what I can do, it's your turn this time to answer and think about this, given the criteria. And for the assessment, I go over lang natin, kasi malapit na maubos ang oras ko dito. So you pause this video if you want to focus on the answer. So thank you and have a good day. Wait, meron pa po palang additional activities. So, this is the amplitude, the wavelength, and the frequency. And by the way, we, you still have something to do in here because you need to still um, answer how each one affects the characteristics of sound and the space provided. So, basically, just keep the definition of each. So, thank you once again. Bye-bye.